Hey, this is Mike, and I want to share three things that will help you score your e-learning quizzes in Articulate Quizmaker. First thing that you might want to know about is how to set the default point value. So from the Home tab in Quizmaker, you're just going to jump over and click on the Quiz Properties button. And when that Quiz Properties box opens up, we're just going to jump down to the Question Defaults tab. And this is where you can set the default number of points awarded for each question. And in Quizmaker, that can be anywhere from minus 1,000 up to 1,000. So that's a really broad range to let you configure your quizzes to get the scoring exactly the way you need them to be. So let's say maybe I'm just going to change this one and set my default for any new questions to 5 points. And you'll notice when I click OK there, I had a few questions that were already in here. So that default's only going to apply to new questions going forward. And that change won't affect any existing questions that you might have in your Quizmaker quiz. Once you've got your default point values set, the next thing you want to know about is how to customize point values for individual questions. So Sometimes there's a case where not all quiz questions are awarded the same point value. So when you run into that kind of situation, we're just going to go open up this multiple choice question. And by default, Quizmaker is going to score questions by question, which means it's either going to be right or it's wrong. And there's really no opportunity for things like granting partial credit. So if you want to customize your point value and kind of leave it in the mode of it's either all right or all wrong, that's going to be down here at the bottom if we're scoring by question. And I can go and I can modify that and change the point value here as well. The other way that you can change that so that you can award partial credit or award different points for different questions is by jumping up here to the ribbon on the Home tab and change the scoring option from by question to by choice. And now what that does is that gives us ability to give specific point values to certain answers. So maybe answer A is going to get full credit and five points, whereas answer B may get partial credit and maybe I'll grant them two or three points. And then finally, the, the last piece of scoring your quiz is setting what the passing score is going to be. So sometimes that might be 100%. Other times you may be willing to accept something a little bit less than that. So that is really easy to do. I'm just going to go back here to my question list. And I'm going to jump up to my quiz properties again, just where we were before to set our defaults. And right here on the quiz info tab is where I can set this passing score. So default is 80%. We can change that to anything. Maybe for this one, this is uh, we we'll make it 100% here. And that's how you can easily set that passing score to be whatever you need it to be. And that's it. That's how easy it is to get your scoring exactly the way you need it in Articulate Quizmaker 13.